Pac-12 fans, and welcome to West Coast Breakdowns, where today I'm going to show you how USC used a pass protection adjustment to buy more time for quarterback Sam Darnold and to send their recent game against Texas into overtime. The first play I want to look at came with 30 seconds in regulation, and with USC with the second and 10 from their own 48. What we see here is Texas trying to overload the left side of USC's protection. They're going to do this by putting a pass rusher directly over the center to use up his block, and then by blitzing three more pass rushers to the left side of the formation to outnumber the left guard and left tackle. This is going to leave the right side of the line with no one to block while Texas has a free rusher coming from the left side. The overload isn't necessarily the problem here, and it looks to me like the actual problem is USC's protection scheme. It looks to me like USC's in a man pass protection, which means that the center is going to be responsible for the guy directly across from him, and that then the left tackle and left guard are going to be responsible for these two defenders. And if that's right, then that's going to leave no one left to block the outside most rusher, and he's going to come in free. It didn't have to happen this way, though, and the reason is because the center's man doesn't stay with the center, but loops to the offense's right to contain the quarterback, and this is going to free up the center to slide to the left and be a third blocker to take on those three rushers that Texas is sending over there. This means that USC's got the numbers to get this blitz blocked, but because nobody's assigned to the outside most rusher, they end up blocking two guys with three linemen while the third guy comes unblocked. Fortunately, Darnold's somehow able to escape the pressure and make a great play to connect with Stephen Carr for the first down. USC then spiked the ball, which got him into another second and 10, and on that down, Texas once again covered up the center and tried to bring three pass rushers to outnumber the left tackle and left guard. But there are two key differences on this play. The first is that USC switched from a man pass protection to a half slide pass protection, and they're sliding to the left. This means that the center is not going to worry about the guy right across from him. He's just going to slide left and block whoever shows up in his gap. Similarly, the left tackle is not going to worry about the rusher right across from him. He's going to slide left and take the guy on the edge. This is going to give USC a nice three-man blocking surface to take on Texas's blitz. The second major difference is in the route that T. Martin gives to Stephen Mitchell. Now remember that Texas is bringing all of these guys on the pass rush. That's going to clear out a void in the middle of the defense, and so Martin's given Mitchell a shallow cross that takes him right into that space. This is going to let him turn this three-yard throw into a 20-yard gain, and it's going to put the Trojans in position to tie the game with a field goal. 